In this video, we're going to solve the integral of the square root of x squared minus a squared dx. So this is one of the trigonometric substitution formulas, and that is this one here. So as you can see, x would be equal to a times secant. So what is the derivative? It is going to be a times the derivative of secant, which is secant tan. And dx will be equal to a times secant times tan d theta. So we have the integral of the square root of x squared. So x is a times secant, and x squared will be a secant to the power of 2, which is equal to a squared secant squared minus a squared. And we will convert dx in a moment. The next step is to factor out the a square. So we have the integral of the square root of a squared times secant squared minus 1 dx. There's a formula that you need to know. It is tan squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared, which means that tan squared is secant squared minus 1. That's this part here. Now, what is the square root of a squared tan squared? It's just going to be a times tan. And dx is all of this. So times a times secant times tan d theta. Notice that a and a, these are constants, so we can move them outside of the integral. We get a squared times tan squared times secant d theta. Now, the best thing to do here is to convert the tan into the secant. So we only have one trick to worry about. And what is tan squared? Do you remember? It is just secant squared minus 1 times secant e theta. And we get a squared times secant to the power of 3 minus secant times d theta. And we can split this apart. So we get the integral of secant to the power of 3 minus the integral of just secant. I've already solved the integral of secant to the power of 3 and secant in a separate video. So these are the antiderivatives. The antiderivative of secant to the power of 3, that's this part. Let's multiply the 1 over 2 with this and 1 over 2 with this one. 1 over 2 times secant times tan plus 1 over 2 times the ln of secant plus tan and then minus this. Notice that these are the same. So this is like saying 1 over 2, I don't know, k minus k. This would just be negative 1 over 2k. Now is the time to multiply a square with this and a square with this part. We have a square over 2 times secant times tan minus a square over 2 times the ln of secant plus tan. Remember, at the beginning of the video, we said that x is equal to a times secant. This means that secant is equal to x over a. That's these parts here. Let's replace the secant with x over a. As you can see, the a square will cancel out with this a. So we have a over 2 times x times tan minus a square over 2 times the ln of x over a. We're very close to finishing. What is tan going to be? 
we need to figure out this from the secant. So secant is equal to x over a, but it's also equal to 1 over cosine. We can multiply this, and we get a is equal to x times cosine. So cosine would be a over x. Cosine is also adjacent over hypotenuse. So a is the adjacent side, and x is the hypotenuse. We need to find this side, and let's call this side b. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for b. So x squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, and we're trying to solve for b. So b squared is equal to x squared minus a squared, and b is equal to the square root of x squared minus a squared. And notice that we don't put the positive and minus in front because we know that the side or the length of the triangle is always positive. Finally, we can figure out what tan is. Tan is opposite over adjacent, and this is the opposite, this is adjacent. And let's go ahead and replace tan with this. This a here will cancel out with this a, and we get x over 2 times the square root of x squared minus a squared minus a squared over 2 times the ln of x over a plus the square root of x squared minus a squared over a plus c. So this here is our answer.